uh, Mr. Dubrov, are the elections are coming soon. So who are the people who will run European project? Uh, what are your expectations and who will be the next our leader, the next president of the European Parliament? Well, uh, you're, <laughs> you're jumping to, uh, uh, to a, a question that's very hard to answer. Uh, first, what will happen in the European uh, elections of 2019 is that, uh, as far as I can uh, uh, predict now, that we'll see a, a huge uh, loss of uh, electorate for the socialist parties. So they will uh, have less seats in this uh, parliament. They will, as a group, um, uh, shrink. What we also will see is um, that uh, there is, although minor, a loss of uh, Christian Democratic um, uh, parties uh, all over Europe. We will see a surge in uh, pat patriotic parties. So the the, um, the the sizes of the groups, the composition of the of the of the parliament will change in uh, 2019 in the favor of uh, the right-wing parties, you might say, like the coalition that we see now in Italy between Christian Democrats and uh, Lega Nord, the patriotic um, uh, parties in uh, in Italy, uh, and they could come to power. They could come to power also in this uh, parliament. So that is uh, something that I expect. Then, if you look at uh, who could be uh, a president of this parliament uh, in the next term, of course, I don't have any names. There are no names uh, known yet. Um, it could be that Tajani is uh, uh, leaving to uh, Italy to, uh, to become active in national politics, perhaps even as a prime minister, you never know. He's mentioned at least. But it will be decided in some kind of a backroom deal. That's how it happens uh, all the time here in this parliament. Um, and I guess the candidate will be of uh, the EPP. Oh, well, EPP, but still uh, the country is a question because our, it feels that it's highly political issue from what country the president will become because it's a matter of status. It's a very high status. So uh, what would be the next candidate from what country, you think? Well, I'm not going to speculate on that. What you see is that the biggest countries want to have um, people in um, uh, important positions that are the, uh, the top four basically it's um, uh, France Germany Italy uh, and formerly uh, the UK so they they will now uh, uh, fall out of this uh, game for the best positions if the big countries in the big parties can't come up with uh, some kind of compromise then the smaller countries make a, a chance and sometimes you see that like uh, in the case of Juncker uh, which is uh, from a very very small country in the European Union that is because they don't want one of the big member states uh, to get too dominant um, in, the, in the European Union so it's a very complicated uh, backroom uh, game of compromises and, uh, and dealing and wheeling our, your country is also a small country, like not as small as Luxembourg, but still. Do you think that Dutch have a chance to get a high position uh, in the new composition of European institutions? Well, it is said that uh, the Netherlands might have a position um, that's now being taken by Donald Tusk. So, yes, that could be, but that's all part of... Um, uh, we have a Prime Minister uh, who is uh, part of uh, Aldi. Uh, is Aldi going to support the EPP uh, in certain uh, issues? So it's this type of uh, complicated uh, wheeling and dealing that will uh, decide upon the fate of uh, the Netherlands in this type of